Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Johnny. Thought I'd make a video because my wife just left to have lunch with some friends of hers, and I am left alone here inside my cell. It is 12.45 in the afternoon. It is July the 7th, 2020. And I've been writing in my diary right now. I'm on page 649 for the year 2000. I'm always wondering if this is the last page because I know today my arm hurts and I'm thinking I'm having a stroke <laughs> and I'm gonna fall over dead. But this sh shoulder always hurts. So it's, I think it's the way I sit So I made a fresh pot of coffee. Thought I'd stop by and say hi. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, uh, this morning, late this morning, I was looking at the comments. A lot of comments, like I said, there were, some comments are going back three weeks that I have forgotten to respond to. So I'm sorry. I don't know how I miss comments, but uh, thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for the comments, and do pray you're all doing well. So. Uh, what have I been reading? Well, I've been primarily just reading this book. I really am enjoying this book, The Shadow in the Garden, a biographer, biographer, biographer's tale by James Atlas. Uh, as I showed you that he wrote a biography on Saul Billow, and he wrote in his early or late 20s, Back in the 70s, he wrote a biography on the American poet Dalmore Swartz. And, uh, but he goes into the history of biography. He talks about all kinds of writers and biographies. And just, I just been real, I, I just read it all the time. Uh, I find myself reading it into the late night hours, reading it in the morning, and uh, I've read 157 pages, and it's about 383, so I'm kind of halfway mark of it, but uh, I'm really enjoying this, <clears throat> so I've been reading this and writing in my diary and uh, wandering the house. It's been extremely hot here in West Michigan. It's too hot to go outside. It's too hot to go anywhere. And we're still under the plague. Um, the local library did open, <coughs> the Hendricks, Hendrick District Library, <clears throat> but I have heard nothing about the book nook being opened. So I don't know if that will reopen the book nook, but uh, the library is open under restrictions. So I've been reading The Shadow in the Garden of Biographicers, Tale by James Atlas. And I've been reading Herzog for the third time. This is a reread by Saul Billow. I just kind of read this. I'm really enjoying this and uh, rereading it. And still reading The Book of Disquiet by Fernando Paseo. So I was reading that today too. Still reading uh, the uh, this book here. I'm really enjoying this book. Uh, Boswell's presumptuous task: the making of the life of Dr. Dunton. I really think that, uh, I know that in book two people are going to be reading the life of Samuel Johnson by James Boswell. But I really recommend that they read this book before they really uh, read that. They should read this book. Uh, I've been listening to <clears throat> some videos, um, booktubers talking about the life of Samuel Johnson by James Boswell and sharing their thoughts. And But I think their, some of their thoughts might be <clears throat> corrected by reading this. So, this is by Adam Sisman, Boswell's Presumptuous Task, The Making of the Life of Dr. Johnson by Adam Sisman. Still reading The Club 
from Johnson Boswell and the Friends Who Shaped an Eighth by Leo Damarash. I I got in the mail the other day another a, I, when I come across a biograph a, a person who writes biographies, <clears throat> I tend to buy all their biographies if they look interesting. And I showed you I had the Club by Leo uh, Damrosh and I had two other biographies, uh, but I didn't have his biography on Jonathan Swift, and I got it in the mail the other day. I have another biography on Jonathan Swift in our library, but uh, I, I just thought I'd get it. was really cheap. It wasn't expensive. This is by Leo Damarash, Jonathan Swift, His Life and His World. The next one I don't have his one on William Blake, which I plan to get in the future. I did go to thrift stores yesterday, and once again, I'm just not finding anything at thrift stores. The, the shelves are kind of barren, and it's too hot to go North Holland. So i just been going around where we live, and I found just this yesterday, a biography on Mussolini by D Dennis Max Smith. This is for 60 cents, and... Uh, it wasn't underlined. Sometimes I come across books that I, like I came across yesterday, a commentary on the revelation of Jesus Christ in the, uh, in the New Testament. It was a commentary on the revelation. And I grabbed it, and I was going to buy it, and then I looked at it. It was all underlined. It was ruined. So I put it back. But this was not underlined. It was 60 cents. And I thought, well, you can't go bad for 60 cents. And I don't have any biographies of Mussolini. I do have on Hitler, Stalin, oh, Khrushchev, Castro, oh, other world leaders. I don't collect books on Second World War generals. I do have on Eisenhower. I do have a biography on General MacArthur, a couple of those. I do have some biographies on Civil War generals, but uh, anyway, got this. And then I picked up this book at a thrift store yesterday, The Heath Anthology of American Literature, Volume A, The Colonial Period to 1800. I got this because it was only a dollar, and I usually don't collect anthologies, but I do collect books on American colonial history, and sometimes you'll come across when you read colonial history, American colonial history, they'll mention a certain document or writer, and uh, that's why I got this. So if I'm reading a history of early America, and they mention a certain document or a certain writer or thinker, I have a selection of their writings. I did notice this morning, I was looking at this, and they had selections by Jonathan Edwards in here. His Faithful Narrative of the Surprising Work of God. And um, so, yeah, so I got that. I got out this morning to look at this book, uh, Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind by Yuva Noah, Noah Harari. So I've been looking at this this afternoon. So that's my book world. Uh, I've been kind of pretty out of it. I mean, our the house has been quiet since that last Saturday. Beth and Andy and the kids, they left to go up north to some cabins with other family members on Andy's side. And they come back this coming Friday and, the, and then they leave Saturday morning back, drive back home to Denver, Colorado. <clears throat> so it's been kind of quiet around here. But I don't know, I've just been kind of feeling kind of sick. Uh, just weary of all the shit, <laughs> to be honest. 
That's what it really is. I'm just sick of everything. So, but I just want to stop by and tell you that what I've been reading, writing in my diary, uh, talking to my wife a lot. Now that she's retired, she's home all the time. Well, now she's out having lunch with friends. And I did notice myself lately, I've been talking a lot to my wife. And uh, I'm used to spending a lot of time by myself, writing in my diary or just sitting in silence or daydreaming or watching YouTube videos or uh, I don't watch TV, I don't go to movies. I just kind of drift through time. But like I said, I just want to stop by and say hi, thank you for the comments and Thank you for new subscribers, and uh, this is what I'm reading. Like I said, I'm, I'm really enjoying The Shadow in the Garden, a biographer's, biographer's Tale by James Atlas. One thing, when I'm looking at this book, I'm always looking at bio, biographies that he's mentioned, because he collected biography. When he was writing his biography of Dalmore Swartz, he didn't really know how he wanted to know how other men and women had written biographies. So he bought all these biographies and he read them. So he's mentioning all these biographies. And of course, you all know I collect biographies and so uh, I'm always looking for new ones that are affordable. <laughs> I can't buy everything somewhere out of my, out of my my range to buy. But I did buy a biography. Well, one of the persons he mentions in his book is Dwight McDonald here. I have two biographies on him. And he mentions another person. I bought a biography on him. And I'll see if I can find a picture of him. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I I just been finding myself on Amazon all the time looking at biographies and seeing if I want to buy them and uh, so I've been doing that, looking at the the footnotes and the back and so I'll probably, I've been reading this pretty steadily. I'm on I'm almost at the end where he starts talking about his research to write the biography on Saul Billow which I really look forward to reading. He talked about Edwin Wilson this morning. I was reading his... Edmund Wilson was a book reviewer. He was a, he wrote... He wrote novels. He wrote plays. He... I have all his... I have a lot of his books in, in our library. My Edmund Wilson and... He was a book reviewer and he... Uh, I, don't know if, I don't know if he wrote any biographies. I don't think so, but anyway, he's one of my favorite people, Edmund Wilson. So anyway, this book is, I'm always going to Amazon, looking at books. I mean, if I had a lot, a ton of money, I'd be buying a lot of books from Amazon, but I can't. Because as you all know, we're retired and we live on a limited income, uh, not, what does it call it? Fixed income. So I have to be very careful. I try to buy used books that are like three or four dollars. I don't try to buy anything over that. Uh, so anyway, I'm just rambling. I hope you're all doing well. This is a Tuesday Reads. Just checking in, saying hi. And uh, thank you for the comments once again and new subscribers. And until next time, bye.